Hello guys, welcome back. We are just entering the city of Viseu, capital of the Beira Alta region of Portugal. And it's here that we are ending our ride to the Douro region. Our visit to the city of Viseu has two objectives. First, we are going to visit Viriato's statue, a very important hero of the Lusitani people, and of course about the origins of Portugal. And also important, of course, for Lady Wolves, since it's her first visit here. Secondly, we are going to ride into the city's historic center to check out the cathedral that is as old as Portugal itself. It's a great afternoon, not too hot, so let's go and visit one of my favorite cities of Portugal. Viseu is one of the most populous cities of the interior of Portugal and is capital of this lovely region known as Beira Alta, land of mountains, valleys and rivers. And it was here that in 2012, once more, was elected as the best city to live in Portugal. The city's origins date back to the first century. Some archaeological finds revealed that, that the old name to be Visaium then later in the Roman era became known as Viseu and finally in the Middle Ages Viseu. By then it was the time of the Castros. There were ancient copper and iron age buildings characteristic of the mountains of northwestern Iberia. The villages were built with predominantly circular structures revealing from an early age of the implementation of a stone civilization both in granite and shale areas. The bigger castros were also known as Cividade or Citania that was always inhabited and can be compared in a way with the Citian of the British Islands. With a large network of Roman built roads passing or leading to the city of Viseu, may the area gain importance over the years and many of these roads and bridges can be seen even today. It was precisely during the Roman times that a Lusitanian hero delayed the Roman expansion near these lands during the 2nd century BC. Viriato was born in 181 BC, somewhere near the Montes Irminis Mountains, known today as Serra da Estrela. However, the exact location is debatable. Its name's origin comes from the Celtic word viria, its Latin word being turquatus, a type of ornament like a bracelet. He managed to unite the Lusitanian tribes against the Roman invaders and became their leader. His guerrilla-like tactics had some success over the years across the Roman province of Hispania, now Portugal and Spain. In 147 before Christ, he fought and defeated the Romans near the city of Ronda, in Andalusia, where the Roman leader Caius Vetilius was killed. Many other victories were recorded as more Roman leaders came to Hispania with the task to defeat the Lusitanians. In 140 before Christ, Viriato defeated the new consul Fabius Maximus Servillanu, where 3,000 Romans were killed. The consul managed to save his own life by promising Viriato and autonomous Lusitanian people. Of course, that when he went back to Rome, the Senate voted war against the Lusitanians, hence betraying Viriato. Once more, more generals were sent to Hispania to fight Viriato and its people. And one of these generals was Quintus Servilion Scipio, that bribed three of Viriato's lieutenants that killed the Lusitanian leader while he sl slept. Here, in this exact location known as Cova de Viriato, was built a large Roman fortified encampment 2,000 years ago. And today we can see a statue of the Lusitanian hero, homage from all of us Portuguese to Viriato. And this is very special for me, since my family name is Viriato, and my father, as my great-grandfather, were born in Viseu, and I believe us to be the descendants of this great legend that the historian Estrabao wrote about as the most powerful of nation of Hispania, the one that among all others halted the Romans for longer. Oh, 
Here is the statue, quite impressive I have to say. This guy was a hero to me as well, a legend. You can even see his people, the Lusitanians, behind him. Or perhaps his lieutenants that killed him during his sleep. Well, I think it's a great homage for sure. All right, Lady Wolf is ready to go. It's time to go to the city of Viseu, historic center. Vou tentar voltar aonde parti Tentar sentir o que eu sempre senti Sonho beijo teu colado em mim No abraço puro junto ao teu jardim Vou atrás do teu Deixar para trás a nossa dor Na paz do sol, na luz da nossa história Coube ao sonho evocar a memória Vou atrás do teu Atrás de tudo que eu sempre senti Vou deixar para trás a dor E tudo o que farei, farei por ti Eu sei Que sorris Toda a hora sei que eu não vou vacilar Solto a glória que ontem me fez ao mar Será a raça com que cruzamos amanhã? Eu sei Eu vi Eu sou quem hoje te embalia Eis que sorris Welcome to the city of Viseu Historic Center. 
I really love this town square. It feels like you have just time traveled to the past, to the medieval past. On the middle is an imponent statue of the King of Portugal, Don Duarte, born in 1391 and died in 1438. He was born here in the city of Viseu. The statue itself is a homage from the city to the king and was built in 1955. I love to come here and chill out on these nice streets full of coffee shops and restaurants with absolutely great food. And of course, it's always easy to park our motorcycles. Over here is the cathedral of the city of Viseu. Its construction in Romanic started in the 12th century during the reign of Dom Afonso Henriques, the first king of Portugal. So we can say this cathedral is as old as Portugal itself. Across the square is another beautiful church that houses also a museum with incredible paintings and statues. I really recommend you to visit this museum if you are in the city of Viseu. And of course, the cathedral itself. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you on the next video and we leave you some views from above the city of Viseu.